uh, right there-ish. And you kind of float to the bottom. Float to the bottom? That's a little counterintuitive, isn't it, Dave? Good morning, everyone. Dave from the Wee Hours here today playing a little Biotope Aquarium Simulator. Are we playing this? Is, is this game? I'm not really 100% sure. It's an aquarium simulator. We're going to build a fish tank and watch fish. It's not a game per se, but there are quests and objectives and things that we're supposed to do. So that's kind of game-like. But anyway, we're going to build a fish tank and put some fish in it and see if we can keep them alive, because we know that's going to work out well in my world. I've done just a tiny little bit of the tutorial just to get a handle on the very, very basics. So I thought we'd just go into the sandbox, build yourself a fish tank and see what happens mode and see what we can do with Biotope. So I did most of this bit here, the tutorial tank, and, and then I just sort of got distracted by watching TV or something, and then I stopped playing the tutorial tank. So there's probably really important things in the tutorial tank that I'm not fully aware of, but, you know, we, ain't nobody tuning into the wee hours for competent gameplay. Let's just start with the empty tank and see what we do with this thing. Right, well, we've got an empty tank. That's very, very clear. Uh, see what I did there? Water, clear, empty tank. Ha ha, see what I did? Um, so I think game over, here we go. I've killed no fish in this time. I am fully successful in operating my fish tank. No, 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 let's actually buy something here. So we've got 200 euros, is that the symbol for euros? I think it's euros, anyway, we've got 200 of those things. Um, I don't know how I generate money in this game. I don't know where I'm going to get more money from. I don't know if, you know, sort of off screen I have some kind of day job that is funding this fish tank, but let's uh let's go to the shop. Let's buy something. Okay, there's the fish. That's good, but I've learned from the tutorial tank that we need important things like filters and lights and heaters, otherwise all the fish die. Now, this one is locked out to me um for what reason? I need a better level. Okay, got it. Right. So apparently as I do things, I will level up. All right, that's pretty game-like. We all like leveling up. I hope there's a big flash of light and an achievement for it. So the Blue Life Clean 300 internal filter, 25, I think, euros, and it takes up 4 watts of power. Right, I should buy one of them. Okay, now I'm already hemorrhaging money, as is very, very typical in a wee hours game, but I'm pretty sure I need a heater. So 50 watt heater, 100 watt heater, 250 watt heater. Okay, so just up and up and up on that. Um, I can buy this, right? Because I bought it in the tutorial tank, so I'm pretty sure I can buy one of these. This is 1595. That's a very precise sum uh, for Biotope. Thank you so much. Temperature range 18 to 34 degrees C. Oh, Lord. It's in Celsius. Okay, so this is where I'm all going to fail. You're going to see a bunch of brutal edits where I'm rapidly trying to calculate Fahrenheit to Celsius. Right, uh, so buy me one of them because I'm pretty sure fish need to be warm. Now, do I need lights? I probably do. We didn't do this in Tutorial Tank. So that's a 60 cm T5. And that's an 80 cm T5. Well, let's kind of downgrade to the 60 because, um, wow. This is $106.95. First of all, that's a very weird sum of money. Secondly, that's like all my money. Um, I think the fish are going to have to live in the dark. I can't afford that I because I've got like other things to buy here. So sorry, fishies, but um, yeah, we're not getting you lights. However, if I go down here, now I can put those things in, right? Yeah. So, oh, I already had a filter. Oh, I, it came with a filter. Darn it. Maybe I can sell that back. Maybe I can sell that back. I didn't realize I get it. I got a free filter right off the bat. So drag and drop this guy uh, to either side of the tank. Uh, sure, that works. Okay, good. Done that. Now, heater. Uh, that can hang off on this side. I'm going to put all the technical stuff over here and leave this side for decoratives because I do like my decoratives. Okay, so I've got those going. Right. Now, I do think I have to turn this on, right? Yes, uh, info control uh, on, okay. And it's draining power, we know that. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with the nozzle. That's been the downfall of my life for 30 years. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with, and I, I don't even know what I do with a Venturi. 
if you're a fish tank person, please tell me what I do with a Venturi. Because it sounds really important as to whether it's open or closed. I assume the other one is... Oh, oh, okay. One quarter, one half... It sprays bubbles. Okay, it sprays bubbles. That's what a Venturi does. Um, that seems really handy. We should probably have one of those. I'm gonna... How about that's half? That's half. All right. And uh, nozzle tilt. What can I What can I do with that? Straight? Up? Okay, cool. So it's just the direction of where I'm spraying the bubbles. How about down? I like down. That was good. Um, nozzle half? Nozzle open? Not nozzle? I don't know what to do with the nozzle. Um, open seems good. I feel it should be open. Right. So now that I've... Can I sell that other filter that I got? Sell. Yes, please. Uh, I would like to sell that filter back. Where, where did that live again? Ah, uh, that thing. Yeah. I want to sell that back because I don't need that. Oh, I'm not making my money back on that. All right. Well, there it is. I got 12 euros, I think. Right. Um, plants. Fish-like plants. I'll go to buy. Yes. So we've got a bunch that are unlocked. Okay. And I need, yeah, again, minimum level for that. Now, well, let's go on something I can actually buy. So the California fan worked. Okay, fine. It's a plant. I get that. What's the stress thing? Ah, okay. It's what the plant is going to live with. Right. So we've got a green spot here of its best temperature. We've got a green spot here of its best pH. So I'm rapidly calculating Celsius to Fahrenheit in my head. It wants to be a little on the warm side is what I'm seeing here. Okay, that's good. That's what our heater is there for. I'm going to get me one of them. Yeah. And I'm going to get me... What is this? Uh, go, go away. Go away, California fan work. There we go. Australian Glosso. Oh, cool. I don't know what that is, but I want it because it's from Australia. Right. Um, and you also... You've got a little better temperature range. You'll survive better in a broader temperature. So that's probably good. Let's get me one of them. Okay, how much money do I have left? 159.86. Very precise, very, very precise prices in this um, air quotes game. And what's one of these? Tape grass. Okay, you also have a pretty broad temperature of where you'll be happy. So you're only 250. So sure, I'll get me one of them. Right, uh, what else we got kicking around? Decoratives. Here we go. Rocks. Everybody likes rocks in their aquarium. Um, I don't know. What do I want? Oh, look, there's a little table-y thing. Hideout something. I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce that word under any circumstances, but it kind of looks a little stonehenge -y, but I don't have the minimum level to buy that. I think we're stuck with basic rocks. Really? It's eight fifty for a rock? I can go out in my backyard and grab a few of these. I literally have this rock in my backyard, and it didn't cost me eight fifty. Okay, um... Get me... Is there any cheaper rocks? No, dear lord, that's almost 20 euro. That's 18.50 for a rock. That That's a little cheaper. Okay, I'm getting the cheap rocks. Sorry, fish, but I'm not sure how I generate money in this game. So, um, you know, there's that. This may be my only tank. Buy that, buy that. How about this one? This one's pretty cheap. Okay, let's buy that one. Uh, three rocks is probably good. Yeah, let's, let's get three rocks. What else can I get? Uh, wood and roots. Ooh, I can get little tree trunks and stuff. Now, don't be telling me this is like 50 euros. No, it's 1090. Wow. Ion exchange of 72.9. I have no idea what that means. Do we want to be exchanging ions? Is there an ion market? What do I do with an ion? No, seriously, like fish tank people, what the heck do I do with an ion? Do I want to be exchanging those on a regular basis? Uh, well, let's actually read the description. Let's do something smart. Uh, releases humic acids into the water, darken the water, and lower the pH value. Okay, in my very brief trial with this game, which was very brief, let me be clear, the pH is like wicked important. So that's going to lower the pH value. The wood slowly absorbs calcium ions. Oh, okay, there's my ion exchange right there. Reduces the total hardness of the water, I think. Dot, dot, dot of the water is what I'm reading into that. That seems good. What does the other one do? Okay, that does basically the same thing. Darkens the water, lowers the pH. Right, 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 right. Okay, I like this one a little more. I'm going to buy that one. 
Oh, do we, what else do we have in decoratives? Um, more rocks, basically. Oh, treasure chests! Yay! Does that do anything important? Not a darn thing. I'm totally buying one. And it's only $7.99. I'm totally getting a treasure chest. Okay. Oh, there's skulls. Oh, yay. I want some skulls. Um, and that, whatever that is. I think it's a narwhal horn. There's a, oh, there's a little life buoy. Yeah! From Hamburg. Cool. Um, sorry about your ship sinking, apparently. But, oh, coins. Oh, there's all sorts of neat stuff in here. I can't get most of it. There's little chess pieces. A, a beach ball, which... Isn't that just going to float? I, I think that's just going to float. I wouldn't mind the barrel. That's kind of neat. I kind of like the barrel. How much is the barrel? It's only 8 euros. I, I do seem to have to think about maybe saving some money for actual fish. Because this is going to be a really boring fish tank without any fish. But, yeah, I'm getting the barrel. I'm buying the barrel. Yeah, I know. I, I Oh, it's a pirate set piece, too. Oh, do we get some sort of achievement if we get all the things for the pirate set? That'd be cool. I like that. Uh, right, anything else that I need to buy? Ground substrate. Okay, so I can change the color. Does that affect the aquarium in any way? Uh, basis, grain size, grain size. I'm not seeing where there's an actual mechanic that would change this. I do like the mixed gravel, and it's only two ninety nine. I'm I'm gonna get that. How about backgrounds? Oh yeah, give me one of them. Oh no, that's really expensive. Okay, that's twenty two ninety nine. Um, just flat white is six euro. Oh, that's quite really cheap. Yeah, blue marine. Yeah, give me that. I want that thing. Okay, and then um, all right. Here's what I'm gonna do. Here's what I'm gonna do. Let me set up all my stuff. Because um, I, I do need to leave some money for, you know, fish. So the plants that I bought. Let's put one. I want to I wanna hide that, uh, that filter thing. There we go. I want to hide that. That's not very attractive. And can I put that maybe over here? Yeah, let's put that there. And then this Australian thing. Oh, that's rather tiny. That's a little disappointing. I was hoping that was going to be really huge, but I guess we'll put that over there. Okay, my rocks, my very, very expensive rocks. Uh, can I put you over here? Yep, there we go. And let's put you uh, right there-ish. And you kind of float to the bottom. Float to the bottom? That's a little counterintuitive, isn't it, Dave? And how about one big honking rock right in the middle? Nice. What else did I get? Oh, the log. I forgot about the log. How big is that? Oh, I didn't leave much room for the log. Um, yeah, I guess you can live there. Yeah, that looks good. I like that. And, oh, there we go. All right, my barrel. This better not be too big. It's a little big. Where, where can I make that live? I don't like my Australian grass thing. I kind of am regretting that purchase. I have a little buyer's remorse on that one. Oh, the treasure chest. Yes, let's get that right up front. That is a tank. I like that. Uh, what else did I get? Oh, yeah, this thing. Um, make, make that happen. Oh, Actually, I'm not sure I like that. I kind of maybe like the original one more. Yeah, I do. It offsets the rocks nicer. And how about my background? Oh, it came with a background. I should have checked that. I should have. But I like this one more. Okay, make that happen. Yeah, there we go. Cool. I like that. Um, So we should probably have fish. Right? Like, that's basically the thing, right? Like, fish. So what have I got for fish? What have I... Oh, actually, hang on, hang on, hang on. Do I start with any fish? Let me actually be smart and check this. Do I start with any fish? No. Okay, so the game is not that generous. It's just hand me some fish. Back out of that, back to the store. Right, what have I got? I got a lot of fish here. The cockatoo dwarf chichlid? Chilid? Chicklid? Some ichthyologists figure out how that's pronounced because I don't know, and I'm not even going to attempt this one. Uh, app, I, it, yeah, see, that's why I'm not going to always have that. All right, what do we got? Difficulty easy, I like that. It's an omnivore. Is that, that probably means it's going to eat other fish, and it is semi-aggressive. Okay, small rivers in the Amazon areas of Peru need to combine one male with several females. Tanks should feature many plants and rather dimmed light. Well, that's good, because we actually have no light at all, because we can't afford it. The lights are really pricey, Mr. Cockatoo Dwarf thingy. Um, so I would need... Can I specify male and female when I'm buying these? Oh, I can. It's right down here. Okay. Um, male, female. Okay, that's easy enough. Good. So one male with several females, and they're semi-aggressive. 
Okay, what else have I got kicking around? A Black Widow Tetra. Oh, I want to buy you just for the name. You sound aggro. Oh, I like you. Um, and you're peaceful. Okay, that doesn't live up to your name, but good enough. Easy to handle. Breed soon. Suitable fish for starters interested in Tetras. I have no idea if I have an interest in Tetra. This is my first experience with one, but they are cheap. They're easy to own. They're peaceful. I kind of like the sound of these guys. Let's get one male, okay, and maybe two females? I, I don't know. They're pretty cheap, so I'm going to get a couple of these guys. And um, if you could just stay on female, that would be nice. Yeah, give me another female. Right, that's those guys done. Oh, no, no, I wanted to buy more fish. Come back, fish. What are you? You are a Serpi Tetra. You're another Tetra. You're semi-aggressive. It says you're peaceful can be combined with many other species, species matching similar demands. Densely planted tank. Okay. Up to 8 to 10, uh, whatever, tetras is a good amount. Well, I've got like three slightly different tetras. You guys don't hate each other, right? There isn't like a racial thing with tetras, right? Hopefully not. You guys would get along. You're all tetras. We're all going to get along and... Can't we just all get along? Um, I, you're just really a nice color red, so I'm going to get a few of you. I'm going to get two males and maybe three females. Okay, good. Uh, you can go away now. Thank you. Oh, no, no, not the whole thing. Um, and you're really freaky. You're a guppy. Oh, okay. Just a regular old guppy. I know guppies. I'm familiar with guppies. I mean, not intimately familiar. I don't have any, but I'm aware that they're a fish that exists. You are also peaceful. You're tolerant of changes in the water parameters. Keep the temperature, pH, and nutrient levels in check. Okay. Very peaceful fish should be housed with freshwater tank mates of similar tetrament. Tem tetrament? I'm stuck on my tetras. Temperament. Ideally, the aquarium, floating ferns, breeding box... Uh, you sound kind of complicated, actually, for a guppy. You, you sound, like, really complicated. Here's another Tetra. You are peaceful. You're an omnivore. Extremely peaceful. Non-aggressive tank mates. Well, I think my red guys were semi-aggressive, but the Black Widows, despite their name, are very peaceful. I kind of want to see what happens with the green neon Tetra. So I'm going to get, um, like, two males and maybe two females. Uh, maybe three. You know what? Have a party, guys. I don't care. Right. Some of those. I've got 72.09, I think, euros left. Am I good? I think I'm good. I think we can dump some fish in the tank here. Yeah, we got a lot of fish. So, splash down, guys. There we go. Enjoy. I'm pretty sure you're all going to get along, I think. We'll see. I should probably feed you. I should think about that. I'm notoriously bad at that kind of thing. Um, everybody go in and fish around. Wow, that those Black Widow guys are pretty big. Everybody splash down. Have fun. Okay, um, now what do I do with you? Th this is where it kind of stops being a game and just you sort of just stare at the fish, which is no bad thing. I should probably feed you guys. I should totally feed you guys. Um, remind me where I do that. Oh, there we go. Okay, found it. Boy, there's a lot going on here. Um, I thought it was just going to be fish food. Is this fish food? Dry fish food in flake form. Good. All right. 50% protein, 8% fat, 2% carbs. Well, what the heck is everything else? That doesn't add up to 100%. What is going on in here? What kind of filler have you got here? And no matter what kind of filler you got, it's got to be one of those three things. So, all right. Buy that. How much, how long does this last? That's what I want to know. How long do I... Like, when does the can run out? Well, we'll find out, maybe. Right, get that. What does this do? Uh, dosage from solution. Bacteria booster. Beneficial nitrifying bacteria. Used to prevent a buildup of high levels of ammonia and nitrite. That sounds really good. We should probably have that. Um, 100 milliliters to treat a tank of 150 liters in size. I don't actually remember what size my tank is, but I'm sure that will come up somewhere. What else we got kicking around here? Magical growth. Oh, are we entering a fantasy world? Accelerates the growth of a plant for a short time. Huh. Um, I don't really think I need to do that, but good to know that there's magic. So this is more of a game than I thought. Uh, this is a natural mineral salt. 
Used as an inexpensive source of ammonium. Oh dear, I feel all my fish are going to die because I don't know what these things mean. Potassium bicarbonate powder. Right, it may be used to raise carbonate hardness. Do I want to do that? I don't know. I'd really just like to feed them. And there's table salt. Okay, are we eating the fish? Was this was this a cooking simulator the entire time? Uh, processed mineral, yes. Source of chloride, sure. Additionally, increased pH and hardness, sure. It's just salt. Uh, no, I don't. I don't think I want limestone. But I don't know. I, I have no idea what any of this means. I really don't. Um, I'm just gonna try and feed the fish. That that's my goal right now. Oh, except I should probably be setting the temperature and things. Yeah, because this is not even on. So, um, I think if we get this around, I'm going with the tutorial tank. They had me set this around 25C, which I think is like 214 Fahrenheit or 4 Fahrenheit. I'm not sure. I, 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 I like my measurements, Imperial. And, um, this one, the filter. Yes, well, we definitely want it on. And we kind of, we were already kind of dealt with all of this. Right, okay, so that's fine. Uh, how do I feed things again? Oh, and wouldn't you know it, I already had some fish food. I should really have checked that of what the game was going to give me right off the bat. So I've got, well, you know what? I've got plenty of fish food then. Uh, let's see. So that goes in there. Now, from tutorial tank, it, it had me put in some grams, I think. And I don't remember if it was 0 0.2 or 2. That's probably a really important thing to know. I'm just going to give them some food and and hope they all live. That's oh, they're all going for it. Yeah, they're all yeah they're all coming up for the for the food. That's cool. Um, can we can we kind of check you out? Come come here. Come here. Come here. Somebody come here and talk to me. There we go. Let's focus on you. Hi. Um, you're a fish. You're my black widow tetra. Right. Hundred percent health. Zero percent stress. I don't know what saturation is. Probably having like way too many of these fish in the tank is probably what saturation is. I would guess. Um, cool. Oh, you kind of glitched into a rock there. That's okay. That's okay. It, it's fine. It's fine. You're kind of cool looking. I don't, I don't hate you at all. I mean, your name is really evil and aggro, but apparently you're completely peaceful. Okay, let's, let's get out of you. Well, now what do I do with it? Sort of sit and look at it for a little bit, which is, you know, very cool. I've, I've built a very nice tank, I think. Um, we do have quests. What's what's my available quest? Time lapse. Oh, this is left over from tutorial tank. Okay, so the, the quests just sort of keep going on. Uh, if you are impatient, use the time lapse feature. It's easy to overlook deteriorating conditions. Okay, what are my conditions? At least two fish alive. Yes, got that. Two plants alive. Got that. Time lapse is activated. Hold these conditions for 30 seconds. Okay, I, I think I can handle that. I'm going to accept that quest and then put it into well first of all you go away so i can actually see my tank so 30 seconds go see the nice part about this is i've got a timer on my recording software so i can actually see when 30 seconds is up um wow day night day night day night oh i think i've did, did we do it was that 30 seconds already i don't feel that was 30 seconds game i'm literally watching a clock right now i don't feel that was 30 seconds but i think you're saying i'm done I'm, I'm going to let 30 real seconds tick by before I trust you. There we go. Time lapse completed. Okay, go back to real time. Go back to real time. There we go. Oh, I got 10 experience for that. Neat. I don't... Did I get any money? How do I make money? Oh, I did. I thought I did. I thought I saw my euros go up there. Apparently, I got 10 euro for... Oh, grandpa's favorite. 10 euro for just letting things go wicked fast. And no fish are dead. How are you doing? How, let's let's okay you're a little stressed you're a tiny little bit stressed i'm not sure what to do about that information um what can we see under info is there a reason you're stressed okay it seems like you're in the right temperature i'm assuming this white bar is you um you're in the right ph your o2 is yeah you're in the green for that you're in the green for everything stop being stressed you're a fish you don't do anything. And we got two more two more quests lined up. Happy fish. Stress level less than 20%. Okay, well that's ticking up. What's the other one? Grandpa's favorite. I got three days. I'll make some money and some XP. 
set up a tank with four famous submarine models. Get these models from the accessory and place them in one tank. Grandpa, if you're going to give me 50 euros to dump some toys in my fish tank, I am all about you, Grandpa. The, you are the best grandpa ever. I am totally accepting that quest, um, provided that the submarine toys cost less than 50 euros. We'll see. Okay, grandpa totally trolled me. So the submarine model is here, but it's locked out. I don't have the required level to build grandpa's. Apparently, I can't go to the store and buy a submarine toy. I'm not high enough level to do that. And P.S. Grandpa, this is a net loss on my part. So you need me to have four of these things. They're twenty-five fifty a piece, and I need to be level two. So um, yeah, I'm going to spend over a hundred euros to gain fifty. Grandpa, this is bad economics, all right? I know nobody tuning into the wee hours for competent gameplay, but that's just sloppy math. Even I can work that one out. I'm spending over twice as much as you're giving me, and I can't even do it anyway. Grandpa, you are now my least favorite grandpa. And with Grandpa's quest being trollishly locked out to me, I think that's probably a good place to call it on Biotope. We built a fish tank, we put some fish in it, they're all technically still alive so far so good and i guess we could just keep plugging along and feeding them and i don't know looking at them adding some decorations never going over to grandpa's house ever again because he's a complete troll but there's a look at biotope i had really just planned this to be a one-off just to look at the game but do please let me know what you think of it in the comments section below i'd be interested to know what you think of this air quotes game is this a game? We've got quests, so I feel it's a game, but we don't really do anything, so I feel it's not. It's just kind of a fish tank simulated simulator, but let me know what you think of Biotope in the comments below, and hey, if you enjoyed the video, do please leave a like down below. It does cheer me up no end when people do that. And if you're new to the channel, maybe just checking it out for the first time, feel free to hit the subscribe button to see more of this ridiculous nonsense. Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours, and we'll see you next Wow. You could have hepatitis or golfer's elbow. I feel we should be able to narrow it down a little better. I mean, I'm not saying I'm a doctor, but I'm saying I might be able to know the difference between golfer's elbow or hepatitis. First thing I'd ask is, do you play golf? Where are you going?